Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Factory Town. This is an early access title that comes into early access today as this video goes out. Uh, thank you to the developers who did provide me with a key a little bit earlier so I have able to get some videos ready for you lovely folks to have a look at it. It is a mix between uh, settlement city style builder and uh, conveyor belt gameplay so these are really hot at the moment for some reason, I don't know why, but we're getting all sorts coming through uh, at the minute so it's going to be uh, an interesting one. I, uh, Factorio meets Foundation kind of level, I guess. I don't know. We're going to go in. I've had a little bit of a playthrough some of the early um, uh, tutorial -y stuff. Uh, so I've got a bit of an idea of what's going on, but to be honest with you, this still relatively blind playthrough. Uh, at the moment, starting by is Plains and Rivers. Uh, we've got... Um there's all sorts we can... Oh, look at all these. But no, planes and rivers sounds good. Uh, map size, medium, short, crazy mode. I will play properly for to start off with, I suppose. Um, smooth the starting area. Let's, shall we smooth the off, on, off? Yeah, go on. We'll have a smooth starting area. And our default uh, starting stage scenario. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all good. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, it's random each time you click it, look. Uh, that looks good. Go. Boom. There we are. Uh, so here's our little uh, little house, our little build. This is like a town hall, I guess, actually. It's called a base in this. Uh, again, remember, bear in mind that it's early access. There's lots of uh, features unfinished and UI needs a bit of an update and stuff. But overall, um, there's actually quite a bit to do here. So we're going to start off, uh, we have to get some wood coming in. So we're going to get our worker here and what we can do is click him and then click a tree and he will just go. Do you know what? We'll start a couple of them over there on trees. Uh, we need to collect 15 wood. We've already got 5 wood. In fact, do you know what? Let's just let's throw all of you dudes over there because, to be honest with you, we can we can readjust you later on. It's not a problem at all. This seems like a slightly better open start. The one I did on the tutorial was already boxed in and I was really struggling to find any space to build at all. Okay, we've got our 15 wood. And with that wood, we're going to build some houses. So, uh, here we go. Houses here. We... Um, uh, these are basically used to up up uh, your villager number, so you can have more more villagers per houses. So we're going to come up here and make a bit of a, a row of them, I guess. But we'll start off with just this one. We're going to leave a gap for paths and stuff. Uh, we can build two because they're really smashing the wood through. Okay, so there's two. That'll do. Okay, now with that you'll see now we can have four, we can have eight workers now because of our two houses. We can have four houses. The level of houses we can have is based on this level here. So we've got to upgrade that to upgrade these to upgrade these and blah, 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 blah. And onward it goes. Uh, now we can build some more workers. We can have eight. Um, place two workers near your house. All right, there we go. How's that? Happy with that, are you? So we earn coins by supplying houses with goods, and coins are used to, to build things and, and, and lovely stuff like that. So we're going to start really basic, we're going to take the grain that's here, we're going to, oh, actually we'll use this grain here, and we're going to throw it into the house. It literally is that simple. So you get the grain, you get the grain. Uh, now what we can do is, are you automatically going to take it to a house? Yes you are. Are you automatically going to take it to that house? Boom. Okay, that's good. You can't actually specify where they go with it, but... Looks like they've managed to figure it out. Oh no, they've gone to opposite ones. No, okay, let's get it right then. So you are going to take grain to here. You are going to take grain to here. There we go. That, that gives us a better display of it. Unless it just, unless they do just go where it's needed. No, that, that, that seems like they're doing much better. Okay, good. Good stuff. Uh, they'll go quicker if they're on a path. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. So let's get a path up to that farm and in front of these two houses. They're happy that way. You're building... Uh, we'll do a path there, so then you'll focus on that path until you get to where you need to be. Good stuff. Uh, a lumber mill. We're going to turn some of our wood into lumber. So let's have a look. Uh, is that already on our buildings there? Number five. Good. What do we need that we don't have? Oh, we need some stone. Okay, so what are you guys? You're going to come off... Uh, uh, you're going to come off wood. Drop that wood down there. And instead, you're going to start collecting some stone. In fact, let's get two of you. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, geez, we can pause, can't we? Yeah, we can. There we go. Okay, from now on, you are a stone man as well. So we've got two on wood, two on stone. We'll see here. And two on food. Okay, that sounds all right. And um, since we get five stone, we'll uh, 
we'll set up our lumber mill. And then your logs are, you still need logs, I think. Some buildings still need logs, some need planks, which we make at the lumber mill. So we'll kind of split the workload there, storing some of them in our base unit here. And some of them, uh, we have a plank. Why do we have a single plank? That's weird. Uh, right, lumber mill. Let's rotate it so it makes sense. And we'll have it, uh, I, mean, I guess, over over to the where the wood is makes the most sense, doesn't it? Well, that's lost all sorts of cool stuff. Okay. Um, all right, done. Now, uh, there's actually multiple things that work that the buildings can do. Later on, it's going to be able to make paper. But for now, we want it to make planks. So we'll tell it to make planks. And then we're going to select a couple of workers. We've got, we can place two more workers. Oh no, one more worker. That building uses a worker. That's fine to actually make what they want to make. So your trees, uh, young worker, are going to go straight to that lumber mill, as are yours. Okay, so two, two workers taking trees to lumber mill. One of you taking trees back to the base. Good stuff. That'll start, hopefully, bringing us in some planks. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Okay, it has to wait a little bit for the wood to come in, but otherwise it's making planks. Um, now we need, to, we need to we need a dude or dudette to come and take the stuff from there to the base because it's not actually accessible for us, look. They're sat in here. Look, it's got it's sat there just waiting now. Um, I'll tell you what, then let's build a couple more houses to up our uh, household number. Carry that path on down there because that makes it nice and easy. So, two workers to sort the grain out because they all need grain. Because not only does that give us money, it also increases the happiness here. And sometimes your buildings are locked off by how much happiness you're allowed. Uh, now we can have another little chappy who's going to take planks to the base. There we go. And then we've got one spare. That's good. Planks are in the base. What does he want us to do next? Upgrade houses. Okay. Houses can be upgraded to increase the population limit. Upgraded houses will also consume goods faster, helping you earn more coins. Select a house and then hit the upgrade button when you have enough resources. So look, here we go, upgrade. We need five planks to upgrade, so now we can. Boom. Doesn't actually physically change yet. It'd be nice if it did. You know, just a, a little bit like the colonists. Colonists, that's the game I was trying to think of before that this reminds me of. Uh, we can upgrade our base as well. Okay. I imagine that needs more planks. Yes, it does. It needs ten planks, but there are currently four sat in there, so we'll give those a little minute while we wait, and then all of these are doing pretty well. Uh, I know for a fact that we're going to set up in a moment uh, a, um, uh, uh, not a farm, a market that automatically provides grain. So it's going to free up like three little guys that we can use elsewhere. So that's good. We can just have one putting grain into a market or, or maybe two putting grain into a market. Okay, we can now upgrade our base. Maximum house is increased to four, and there we go, food market, look at that, almost uh, perfect timing. Build a food market, so let's have a look at a food market, what does it want? Food market, again, just planks, we're really waiting on the planks, I'll tell you what then, as soon as we can have a few more uh, peeps, let's, let's upgrade, oh go on, yeah, let's upgrade you as well, just so we can start bringing in a few more people, so we'll get, we'll get four of you, okay. So we'll get two are you going trees to the lumber mill. So we really get that filled up. We'll have one of you doing uh, planks to the base. And we'll have you, what else are we kind of low on? Oh, you're just regular trees. Let's just get regular logs going in there. Look at all these little folks. Now eventually we can set up, we set up conveyor belts and, and little uh, trucks and stuff. But for now, that's, uh, that's what we're going to be doing. All right. Buildings. Food market. See, here we go. This food market will cover quite a decent area, so I think rather than have it look after the water, if we put it somewhere up here, then we've got a good scope in the future. Okay, I think that next to the stone, boom. Probably not a bad idea there. Okay. 
Pairs will automatically purchase the items they need mostly from near most sorry from nearby markets. Bring some grain to the food market and wait for a house to purchase it. Okay, so first of all, let's run our path up to this. Uh, oh, we've got one bit of grain there that needs to go. I tell you what, then you will take that grain to there, as will you. Oops. Is that two of you doing it now? There we go. Now, I'm assuming we can replant grain at some point, because I can't imagine grain is a finite resource. So there is a little lump of it there as well. And there, and there, and there. Oh, maybe it is then, yeah. Maybe, we don't, maybe we're not planting it. Come on, I just want that one bock on there, please. Okay, well, they, they've done that anyway, so let's see what's next. Uh, build a grain mill. Grain mills turn grain into flour, which can be sold for a higher price as an ingredient in other, and as an ingredient, excuse me, of other goods. Okay, come on, get this one bit of grain here. You're, you're stuck, in your pal? You. Right. Oh, no, no, there you go, you figured it out. Well done. You had a bit of trouble there, weren't you? How much does it say? How much grain is in it? No, it just says grain, but it is it is disappearing, surely. Because these trees definitely... Oh, where are the trees going, actually? They must be, mustn't they? Our resource is not actually going away. That's really interesting, if, if that's true. Because that means you've got to constantly work around them. All right, well, we'll give it a bit of time. Maybe it's a, maybe it just takes a little longer than I'm thinking. Uh, right, we've got loads of planks, so let's get all these upgraded. Okay, so you've got... Uh, you're sort of consuming food. So all of you now, really, you need to be taking grain to the market, not to the... Um, Grain to the market, not to the house, because that's the better way to do it. And then we'll move some of you off to the uh, the lumber mill, uh, the grain mill now, excuse me. Uh, grain mill, we've got everything we need. So I guess near the grain makes sense. Um, I don't know how much options we've got for pretty things here, but we'll do it kind of like a little square here if we can. Grain mill. And we want you to make uh, flour. We don't need animal feed just yet. All right, so let's get um, let's get two of you now putting grain to here, and then we'll put a new chappy down who's gonna take the grain from there to the market. Although you're probably gonna be waiting around a little while. There we go. Nice little square there. Maybe we could put some flowers down in the future for happiness or something. I don't know. Uh, sell flour. Select the grain mill. Select the flour recipe. Uh, bring enough grain to the grain mill to produce flour. And then move flour to the market. Oh, we just did all that. There we go. Boom. The workshop lets you craft wood wheels. Convey better. So, should we be making grain at all now? Let's have a look. It just says consuming food. So with this ad, that has gone, look, that has gone eventually. So we can join these up there. There we go. So is it worth not sending any grain to here and instead sending it all to there? Let's try that as a setup and see if it makes much difference. There we go. Okay, so there's no point in having two on there because they're both kind of waiting. So let's you you can supply grain as well. Okay, let's let's see if that does it. A workshop lets you craft wood wheels and conveyor belts. Mm, nice. Okay, so a workshop is it down here yet? No. So and um, buildings workshop. This is going to be a wood. Oh my word! A wood structure to start off with. So I imagine it's probably better off down here by the lumber mill. I just want to rotate. That's really annoying that I can't rotate while I'm looking at the object. Okay. Workshop. Let's try that again. Uh, yeah, alright. Oh, that's all sorts of luck. 
Barns are specially shared storage structures. Any item you place there is usable when placing a new building or purchasing an upgrade. Okay, so we're putting down some more storage, although I don't think we particularly need it just yet. But we'll build one over here because that's storage, our base is storage. So a barn over here is probably a better idea for in the future. So I'll place it down there. Okay. Create the wagon. Wagons can move four items at a time, but they cannot harvest items. Oh, okay. They also move much faster on stone roads. Produce four wood wheels at your workshop. Uh, right. So select the recipe of wood wheels. Oh, there's all sorts it can make. Look, wow, we're going to need a lot of workshops in the future because I can imagine we only pick one. Uh, bring the wood wheels to your base or a barn so that they're in the shared inventory. Right. So... First of all, we need planks to go to there. So let's get our uh, two. Let's just pause a second. Let's get our two little chaps down. So you are going to take lumber to the workshop, and you are going to take wheels to the base. Can't help but noticing you ain't doing anything there. You, you. So just chop some trees down, pal. All right. So you're making wood wheels. I don't mind you standing around as long as I know you're doing something. You're doing planks to the building. You are... So you're doing nothing either. You're doing planks to that building. You're doing wheels to the base. You're doing planks to the base. Who's doing... Who's doing planks... You're doing planks to... Next door, right? So you... So what are we... Mm. What are we waiting on? You've got loads of wood there. You've got no planks there. So you, where are you? Who's doing nothing? Worker doing nothing. Take planks to there as well. Oh, it's because the output. There's no output coming in. Okay, we're, we're making though, right? Yeah, we've got six wheels. Okay, good. So now we've got uh, wood wheels in the inventory, we can make a wagon. So uh, buildings, no workers, is it? Yeah, wagon. There we go. We need a spare person. I'll tell you what then, one of you can go because you, you guys are both useless. As long as somebody is taking lumber mill from there to there. Which I'm not sure any of you are actually. What are you? Hold on, let's pause. What are you doing? You're doing logs to there. You're doing there. You're doing there. You're doing there. You're doing logs to there as well. So you are doing not much. So you can do planks to there then. Okay. Okay, I think that works. Right, building. Let's go for a wagon. Paint your wagons any colour you like, I guess. Right, so what's that? doing then nothing right so but we can use it to move stuff right, I don't think we really need it yet to be honest uh, builder shoot shoots can be used to roll certain natural resources directly in and out of buildings it can greatly speed up production because workers won't have to travel as far okay so maybe we could look at doing Maybe we could have grain going to the... I don't even know what one of these we could do. I suppose the lumber mill to the workshop would make sense. We could do like a little shoot around the back here maybe. I'm not too sure how it works. Open up the build menu. Select paths. Select shoot. Press left click. Now they're all... Inns look so. Does the out have to be at the door? Okay, hold on. All right, okay, so rotate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that doesn't seem very good. Press R to rotate shoot to a specific direction. Place scaffold blocks and ramps to help shoots over uneven terrain. Right, that hasn't seemed to work at all, but that might. Uh, that's kind of what I wanted to do, right? 
No, no, because you're not a raw resource, are you? You're just uh... ah. I suppose the idea is that we get them to put all this wood into a barn, and then the barn can roll it down to these buildings. Okay, I think we might have messed that up. So what's up with you now? Output that is not compatible with the shoot. Yeah, of course. Okay, so do we have a delete? Do we have a delete key? Um, let's have a look. Research economy. Remove remove blocks. There we go. Okay, so let's try that again. Let's put those paths back in. I think the paths are there. I can't quite see the colour properly. So what were you doing? Were you doing planks from back and forth between that? Um, so I don't really know what is it. What would be a useful place to have? I suppose really that barn and the grain mill could swap. We could have all the barn food going to here that would roll it down to a grain mill. But I don't really need a use for it. Workers can directly deposit items into shoots. Natural resources like grain, wood, and stones are all compatible with shoots. Left click to select a worker. Left click on a tree or grain tile and drag the icon to the end of your shoot. Okay, so we need to place a shoot there just to be able to move move on from the thing. So let's put one there. Uh, who's doing grain? You're doing grain. So you now do grain onto the end of that shoot. Let's see what that looks like. That's why the that's why the grain around you see he's gonna bring it up here are you yeah okay pop it on there and it does actually roll down okay use the move tool to uh, yes yeah, fix it so the stone mason will turn stone into stone bricks to be used in advanced buildings and roads which allow wagons to travel much faster okay so here we go then now we know how that works let's see if we can get this stone going to a barn and that barn rolling the stone into a stone masons all right Let's clear this up first. Oh, oh that's... I, I thought that was going to let me double check. That's risky that that just goes straight away. Okay. So, uh, barn. So we're going to place it here. I guess it kind of depends how big the stonemason's building is, doesn't it? Buildings, stonemason... Place you. I'm hoping. Ugh. Hope we can put it here. That'd be that'd be neat. Let's have a lot of buildings. Stonemason. Yeah. Okay. So we can do that. Right. And then who's collecting our stone? Yeah. Did we not? Did I not select where it's actually going to go? Well, now I am. Because I want you very specifically to be putting stone into here. And it's storing a load of it. Good. So now what we should be able to do is... Okay, let's make you... Select recipe, stone brick, yeah. And then we should be able to put a shoot in. Oh, yes! Okay, so yeah, you've really got to start thinking about... I think probably we could spread out a bit then. If we really got to start thinking about putting this sort of stuff in place. That seems to be the way to go. Now I wonder, can we... I wonder eventually if we can split these so that some go one way and some go the other. Because what I'd like, what I would do probably is build a barn here for all the wood to go into that takes some to the lumber mill, some to the uh, base. So we've always got... or or, or I'll leave some of it there. That's the problem. Is that just going to empty the storage? Yeah, it is. Look. Item filter. No, we don't have to say what goes in there. All right, good. Well, that's neat anyway. So we, we've managed to get stone to the stonemason with it's got its full output with nothing there. Right. So one little man then. How, how are we doing here? Barn has got nothing in it. Uh, output there. Inventory. It's got all sorts. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... To, are you waiting? You're not very often waiting for float. No, you are. Look. Okay. What about logs? How are we doing for logs? We have loads of logs. Okay, so let me find somebody who's just doing plant. Okay, you. You're going to get repurposed, young man. You are now going to take um, stone bricks into this barn. And then... There we go. Hopefully you'll be able to just go back and forth along that path and do it, won't you? Yeah, there we go. Because then you're not full. Yep. 
yeah, and that just keeps going. Good stuff. So we've got a nice pile of stone bricks going into a barn now. Okay, good, cool. Yeah, okay, I'm into this now. Took me a little while to really feel it, if I'm honest, but yeah, it's good. So we can move stuff from a barn to a barn. So here we go, then. Let's, let's use this to move wagon wheels to there, all right? Which should then free up this worker to maybe get some stone going. So workers are, the, are, our, are our hard resources, right? Yeah. Oh, look, it's a bit of a phantom wagon. It's just doing it. So you're still waiting on planks to get to there, right? And, you, and you're doing it. All right. So we, could, we can automate you and free you up then. Although... Aren't wagons just people anyway? They can just they can just carry more. They they class as a as a number, but they carry more, right? Mm -hmm. So for now, we might as well leave you until we've got a bigger setup. Okay, cool. Uh, build a stonemason. Yes, we've done that. Uh, upgrade the base again because you're going to need twenty bases and some happiness. Oh, we're not very happy, are we? I think another row of houses is is what we need for that. If you don't have another happiness, build more houses and supply them with food. Okay, houses. Occupied? Oh, you might just be a little close to that one, eh? Four houses. With a lovely path. Along them. Can we can we fix that? There was there was a menu, wasn't there? Uh, I found it before, I'm sure. Structural blocks. Scaffolding, no, I'm not too worried about any of that. Stone bridge, stone wall, paths. We can do roads now. I'm not too worried about that just yet, though, to be honest with you. Where was the... There was definitely a terrain option. Here we go, terrain block up. So where's the rest of you? Decor. Oh! Yeah, look at this. Oh, now we're talking. Let's, uh... Let's do some nice little benches. There we go. You, you know a game is for me. If you can do some... Oh, look. Oh, yeah, there we're talking. Anything that you can put down that does nothing, I'm a big fan of. <laughs> Um, doesn't say what any of that does actually, so that's good. Tools. Oh, here we go. Tools. So it's going to cost us coins. That's fine. We've got a good amount of coins. I just want to get rid of this little bit here if I can. So, um, tools. Terrain block up. Can I not do it now because there's a building on it? Um,. Terrain flatten up that one then maybe. Incompatible target. Okay, so this house has got to go. Let's see if we can fix it first. Uh, oops. Tools. Uh, this doesn't seem. Oh, sorry. Flatten up flattened down. Is it because there's buildings there? Right. <laughs> Let's try that. Maybe because it, it added that scaffolding. Flatten up. Yeah! There we go. And again, perfect. Right, so we can put a house back in there now. And it's all beautiful, neat. And we can finish off with a bit of there we go that's what I'm talking about that's helped with uh, satisfaction a little how are we doing here you're how are you waiting for flour a lot yeah we've got a, quite a low input there so let's do oh that isn't what I meant to do at all in the slightest let's just clear that off and try there we go so you're all gonna get green going into here for now, loads of you doing it. There we go. That's not too far to go. So what you would do if that was further away is you put a barn there and you put the barn rolling it into there. Good. All right, makes sense. 
Now you should start getting some stock now so is that your output's better and your output is pretty much it's just a guy taking it across the food market there so some are happy some aren't hopefully that will increase so when this goes yeah what we'll have to do is is put a barn over here and roll stuff down to it i guess that makes sense doesn't it good stuff right i've enjoyed that um let's just can we quickly do the base we haven't got either the polished stone we've got 15 of it what's happened there then So you're, you're full of stone, right? But you're saying you've got none. Ah, because it's trying to send down rubbish luck. Item filter, stone is the only thing we want in there. Get rid of all that. Then I'll go back to that. So how do I get rid of just that one bit of, bit of wood there? Can you come and grab it? Or do I redo that one piece? Oh, and that one as well, look. That's interesting. I, I didn't think that would be a, a thing, but it kind of makes sense, though, doesn't it? Just check there's no other wood coming out. Okay, so that is, you are, you're a stone barn. That's what you do. You're now back operational. Okay, and uh, happiness is up to eight now as well, which is good. So, as soon as this hits 20, which is now, we can upgrade our base. Boom! We've got another four houses available, a school and a general store. We will carry on with this in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, all you have to do is click subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, suggestions, please pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.